could sunny southern Spain be a source of energy for us here in northern Europe? With us in the studio now is Bernd Reich. He's an expert on solar energy from the Helmholtz Center here in Berlin. Thank you so much for joining us. As we just saw there in our report, southern Spain has a lot of sun, but it can also get pretty dusty when uh, the wind is blowing. Can all that sand and dust destroy a solar power plant? It can destroy a solar power plant, but in, in general, I would say the engineers have taken care and it will work. And also you have to look where you place your solar plant. Now, solar energy generation becomes more cost effective the higher its yield. How high can we go? In principle, we can go up to 80% in conversion efficiency. In the lab, we have shown up, up to 40%. But typical applications today, they are in the range of 10 to 20 percent. So there's still a lot to do, but it's already much better than nature. And is that a purely technological problem or? Oh, it's a technological problem. It's a fundamental problem from some side, but it's also an economic problem. So the most efficient solutions are not the most cost effective solutions today. Right, that's a problem in a, a good deal of fields, actually. Now, if my electricity comes from a solar power plant, can I still watch TV if the sun isn't shining? So if it's photovoltaics, you would, can only watch TV when the sun is shining. If it's a solar thermal plant, then there's some storage included. So it will depend on the system of what you use or if you have a storage at home. Well, what would you say is the best strategy for this type of um, energy generation using these huge central power plants or smaller decentralized facilities? I think it will be a combination. So you should use as much as possible decentralized, but certainly uh, an international or a big grid would help a lot. Why isn't solar power more prevalent uh, here in Germany and, and what can we do to make it more popular? I think in Germany it's quite popular now and it's increasing, but I think the gr great future is in countries which, are, which have much more sun than Germany. And uh, I think the oil price will stimulate it and uh, also the political will to fight the greenhouse effect. How do you think we will cover our energy needs in the future? I'm quite sure that we will cover it mainly by uh, renewable energies in decentralized and centralized solutions. How much sunlight um, would you need to capture to provide energy for the entire world? Uh, in principle, the sun shines in one hour as much energy to the Earth as the global world population needs the whole year. So there's a factor of 10,000 in between. But we have to collect it, we have to store it. So a big potential, but we have to use it. <laughs> okay, well, it. I think that's definitely some incentive for uh, the politicians to get in gear here. If we only need one hour of sunlight. Professor Reich, thank you very much for joining us here today.